It's an app for Jira that's been around for ages. But Atlassian's recent acquisition of the company Mindville, that's the people who actually make the Insight product, has sparked a lot of kind of fresh interest. So we wanted to show you why we love Insight so much and share some of the solutions that we've been providing for our clients. Uh, but first, a quick lesson. What is Insight? Well, it's called an asset management tool. But personally, I think it's almost deceiving to the true power of Insight. Um, Asset management usually conjures up thoughts of tracking laptops and phones and key cards, physical things. But modern IT managers have to track all sorts of digital assets as well. Applications, services, contracts, all sorts. Insight lets us track all that information within JIRA, and indeed the information it keeps can be quite substantial. And the benefit of this is that instead of having to use spreadsheets or external databases, lists, other systems, by having JIRA as your source of truth for this info, it opens up a host of opportunities for us in terms of reporting and automation, traceability, all the good things. So as a simple example, if I was an IT manager, I might look after Confluence. This is a service that I provide to the business. It's a service that I support. Now, in Insight, this is known as an object, and I can define attributes for my object, things that are bits of information that are useful to capture, defined by me. So things like the software version, where it's hosted, technical specs, who the application owner is, and so on. Now the benefit is once I capture all this information, I can group all these objects together in what we call an insight schema. That's just a simple way to organize all the parts of our IT business, all our applications, our servers, our people, whatever we need. And this is the kind of best bit. The magic that occurs when you do this is that we now have visibility on the relationships of all the objects that we support. Because Jira is now my source of truth, which is a core tenet for ITSM, for managing my IT services, I can see who owns a service, who supports it. Uh, and as we'll see later, what happens if you take a service offline? Who does it affect? The best bit about it as well is that Insight surfaces all this information in native JIRA. So you'll see it in the JIRA issue itself. So if you're using JIRA software or JIRA service desk at the moment, you can use it the way you'd normally do, but now with all sorts of additional useful information added into the issue at your fingertips. It really is called Insight for a reason.